Hello guys, how are you having, how have you been since yesterday? Um, I hope you're good. Hope your weekend has started off good, fresh, refreshing. I believe that, I like that. So um, in this video, what I'm going to be talking about is this Z card trade. I actually sent you guys a trade idea. Um, the, mo the day I sent you this trade idea, the prices I think were around here. Um, all of this hadn't evolved yet, so prices were still here. We had a clean head and shoulder, invested head, invest head and shoulder pattern. And I sent you a trade idea like prices might reach here. So I'm going to be talking about how we could have traded this, how the trade went, because we actually took the trade in our VIP, how the trade went, how you could have managed it on your own and see how it actually went on. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, um, be sure to like this video, subscribe, stay along until the end so that you might learn something new, grab a notebook to take notes and um, be sure, um, be, feel free to share with the friends that um, this video will be helpful to. So without further ado, let's dive right into this thing. Zcard, nice trade idea. So this trade, I actually sent this trade idea to the um, VIP guys and I actually took the trade. Um, while prices were here, I actually sent this out as a trade idea and um, I sent it as if prices had created this movement here. If you zoom in, you can see that prices has created this beautiful inverse head and shoulder. So in this pattern here, this was our confirmation. These were the three white soldiers, right? So this acted as our confirmation. And I believe that from here, prices will obviously keep on pushing higher until they reach all the way up here and our stops are somewhere down here. So it was a one rush of five um, trade. We pulled the trigger, I took the trade, right? I took the trade, I told the guys in the VIP to take the trade. Unfortunately, things didn't go out as planned. Um, we got stopped out of this trade. As you can see here, the falling candle, it went in our direction a bit and then it came and stopped us out. So. I'm going to be talking about it. If, for instance, if you move down to the lower time frames, when we took the trade, um, right here, when we took the trade, um, let me, okay, let me zoom back out here, right? So we took the trade, I believe it was after this one hour close. And the reason I took the trade, it's because in the one hour, that's where I always take my entries, right? So right here, you can see this was my entry. Prices created this double bottom, broke above and then we got stopped out, right? Um, it went in our direction a bit and then it stopped us, it stopped us out, right? Um, with this crazy heavy candle. And then after that, you can see, so we got stopped out, so this is not more important. So after that, um, you can see prices pushed back up here this almost gave me another indication. I was like, maybe I should take the trade again. But then I didn't take the trade because here, you can see up here, once prices bounced off here, this also created a resistance area. So that means this was a new market structure. So I was actually waiting for prices to break above here before I make any, any rational moves because mind you, I was just from taking a loss. So it's easy to make rational decisions in states like that. After that, um, prices pushed down here, back below this market structure without creating any bullish confirmation here to go long. So if prices gave me a bullish confirmation at around here, I would have taken the trade, but it didn't. Prices broke below here with a very strong bearish momentum and came back down here, created a lower high. Mind you, this was the high and it created a lower high. So that means the structure was beginning to fade and that the trend was reversing. And then it created a lower low because this was another low, right? And here it created a lower low. So then I was like, okay, so now my bullish bias has changed. Until prices do break above here, that's when I'll be taking long trades, right? That was my bias while prices were here. And then after that, um, let me zoom out on the larger time frames on the four hour. So now, mind you, on the four hour here, 
mind you, prices were now around here, right? So um, my confirmations I always take, I use my four hours of the confirmations. So as you can see here, prices started creating lower lows. And then after this high, prices created a dramatic low. I was like, okay, this trend might be dead. So my entries for selling was that if prices do manage to break above here, do manage to break below this trend line, then I'll be going short because you need prices to break the trend before you actually change your bias, right? So in the long term, I was like, okay, if prices break below this trend, then I'll be short. But then prices bounced off here, um, creating another high. As you can see here, this was some sort of a top bottom and this was the second bottom. So it was a double bottom, right? Um, and this was the neckline. So I was like, okay, here, as this was happening, prices broke, bounced here, broke above this descending trend line. But then this candle here, this could have acted as my confirmation in the four hour to take the trade based off this bias of this head and shoulder. Prices, you know, has to reach here. You know, while trading the patterns, you need to understand how to trade them. So if you're trading off a head and shoulder, this pattern here, the distance from the neck, head to the neckline has to be the same distance from the neckline to the target point, right? So once prices broke above here, this would have acted as my confirmation. But then if you look at it, um, the way I trade is that I believe in risk to reward. I don't trade anything less with less than one ratio three. So um, if you look at this risk to reward right here, it was some sort of 2.5. So it wasn't really up to my trading standards. So I couldn't take this trade. And by the way, it actually happened during the um, New York, right? It was around 1700 hours. So I got that confirmation, but then it didn't give me um, a good trading bias. So pulling back down here to the one hour, you can see this is how it played out, right? And this was the new high. This was the new high. So then prices were supposed to come back here, retest this high to continue going up. Um, so the entry here, this would have been the entry right here after the retest, long position, retest on this all the way to take profit. The retest would have been here trading by using the, you know, modern pattern, this is a double bottom. So prices should not come back below this neckline for this pattern to stay valid. So my stop loss would have been here. And I'm saying would have because I didn't take this trade. And the reason I didn't take this trade is because it happened at two in the morning during the Asian session, my local time, it's two in the morning. Two in the morning, I'm still sleeping guys. I'm sorry, but I'm still sleeping at that time. It's the Asian session. I'm sleeping, I'm most active during London and New York. So we missed out on this trade, but it was a beautiful trade. You can see it actually went all the way until take profit, smash take profit. It was a beautiful one ratio seven trade. Beautiful, crazy, crazy, crazy trade. And if you are an aggressive trader, it would have been a one ratio eight trade. So um, it's crazy, one ratio eight, one ratio seven. If, you're a, if you risk 2% in every trade, that means you would have gotten 16%. 14 to 16%. So it was a beautiful trade, guys. Um, Z card. So that's another thing why I actually advise people to learn how to trade on their own so that they won't depend on anybody. If you're actually up during this time, um, this opportunity wouldn't have missed you and you would have taken the trade. So guys, my advice, signals sometimes they're good for you to actually see opportunities that you couldn't see on yourself, but also you need to actually be an independent trader learn how to trade by yourself so that you don't miss out on opportunities when your signal provider isn't available at the time. Um, so that's, that's it for today, guys. That's all I wanted to share, how we could have traded and made money off Zcard. I hope this video has been of help on, on educational or educational. Um, so till next time, guys, this was Black speaking. Um, have yourselves a great refreshing weekend. So till next time, guys. Peace and love.